Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a pop-up game object when your character picks up an extra heart, for example. I begin from adding a player to our scene, giving him a rigid body 2D component with gravity scale set to 0 and collision detection set to continuous. Also, I add a circle collider, which will be a trigger. I edit it a bit to fit the shape of the sprite. Then I add a heart to this scene and add a circle collider to it, which will be a trigger too. After that I duplicate this heart several times by pressing Ctrl D key and place these clones around the scene. Next I create an empty game object and call it 1UP. Now I need to add my 1UP sprite to this 1UP game object as a child. I rename it as 1UP animation. Next make sure 1UP animation game object is selected, go to the animation window and click create new animation button. Name this animation as you wish. Then click record button, slide timeline marker to the last frame. It is 60th in this case and change Y axis transform so it's above its initial value by 1.5. Then change transparency of a game object to 0. Then click record button to stop recording. Now we have animated 1UP sign. Also, we need to uncheck loop time option in 1UP animation, so this animation will go only one time. After that, we need to create a prefab of our 1UP game object by dragging and dropping it to our project folder. Now we can delete it from the hierarchy. Our player needs a script, so let's create one. I have this script already created, so let's take a look at it. This script allows us to perform simple movement by pressing arrow keys, and also here we have public game object named 1UP, which allows us to instantiate this game object if player collides with the heart. We instantiate it at the position of the player, but a bit higher in Y axis. After that, we destroy the heart as we picked it up. Put the script to player game object and drag and drop 1UP prefab to corresponding slot of player script attached to the player. Let's hit play and see how it works. Thank you for watching, see you next time!